Go. Welcome back to Maths with Miss N. Today we're going to do a very quick tutorial on helping you with your times tables. Now as a primary school teacher I talk about this a lot, so I'm very quickly going to show you the easiest way to learn your fours and eights if you know your twos, which by now you should. So starting very easy at the top here, I've just drawn an array for one times two, which we know is two. Now a number fact that we already know as well is that double two is four. So if we need to double two to get four, then same with our two times table answers, we double the answer to get the answer for our four times table. So if we have a look here, one times four, one, two, three, four. Spot on. And then again, if we know the answers to our four times table, double four is eight, one times eight is eight. And this pattern repeats. So let's have a look. Two times two, you can see here I've drawn the array. Two groups of two, we know is four. Now in order to work out two times four, we can use our number facts, double four. We, we know is eight, but we can check using our array. So we've got two rows of four here. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two times four is eight. And then again over here, double eight. Now you can pause me here and have a go yourself at working out what two times eight is or go along with me and let's have a quick look. We can use our array here and check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Two times eight is sixteen. Okay. Coming down here, three times two. Again, you can use the array to help you, but we already know that that's six. Three times four. Now all you need to do is double six in this case, or you can use the array to help you. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Double six is indeed twelve. Now, you can have a guess at what three times eight is first, or you can have a go at doubling twelve, which we know is twenty-four. And again, you can use the array to check that answer. Now I'm going to let you have a go at the rest of these yourself. And this pattern also works for the rest of five times up to 12 times. I just didn't have room on my board. But again, you are free to draw out your arrays and use this to help you. This also works for using your three times table to help with your six and 12 times table, which I will demonstrate to you in another video.